What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and in this video we're going to take a look at the new alternate costume for Captain America. First off the Captain Steve Rogers costume is only available till April 17th. It comes in both the scrapper and tactician class for 60 command points. So if you don't have enough I recommend you start farming you do have until April 17th. If you're only going to buy one costume and you want to know which one to get I would have to recommend Tactician. I'm definitely going to buy the Scrapper costume and that's the one I'm going to show first. Just the fact that it's a different class for Captain America makes it pretty appealing to me. But honestly if you had to choose just one go with the Tactician. When we take a look at his abilities you'll see he can place flanked so he can give himself a follow up attack anyway. Also tactical maneuvers is just really hard to beat and you kind of have to think about Havoc being out there. Both versions of the costume have inspiring leadership and defensive stance. But where the new changes really show themselves are on the abilities. There's going to be three pages and I'll show you how this works in just one moment. Under the default take charge stance we'll call it, you gain shield bash with impaired. So this causes the enemy attacks to do 20% less damage and they cannot crit. Now this is where it really gets interesting. Steve Rogers level 2 is a multi-function quick action. It starts out on ranged awareness, chance to dodge ranged attacks. Then next you can switch to offensive operations. This one says chance to perform a counterattack when an ally is attacked by melee. And finally counterintelligence, chance to perform a preemptive counterattack against enemies performing buff or debuff actions. Depending on which one of those quick actions you choose, your abilities will gain different debuffs, so the ranged awareness is going to be this first page. Leading strike here causes flanked. Offensive operations will be the next page. And then counterintelligence coincides with the third. For ranged awareness, shield throw causes lock on. Now moving on to the second page, or the offensive operations stance. Here, shield bash will cause neutralized. It removes and prevents stat increasing effects. The multifunction will remain the same. So this was me checking it out for the first time and you'll also see when I figure it out in combat. First I'll do a PvE battle and then a PvP match. But first let's finish looking at these abilities. So leading strike here causes fumbling. And then shield throw places wide open on all the enemies. Now this last page is going to be for counterintelligence and its shield bash causes depower so actions no longer apply statuses. I have to say counterintelligence is pretty awesome and I really love these new alternates because they give you a ton of options. Once again the multifunction level 2 is still the same but this point I still wasn't sure how it worked because I didn't see it in battle yet. As you can see leading strike cause is generalized here and then shield throw is pretty interesting. It's going to place exhaustion on all the enemies. This is not to be confused with exhausted. This isn't quite as good. Anyways the only thing left to do is go ahead and unlock this amazing new costume. Then I'm going to head over to Special Operations 17 Mission 1 and try it out for the first time. First I'm going to pair Steve Rogers up with Volstag but it's not for any particular reason. I just recently leveled him to 9 and I wanted to keep training him. Now remember this is the very first time I was using this alternate costume. So I'll show you how I discovered how he works. At the very start of combat he gives us ranged awareness. So this is where I started to figure out that's kind of your default stance. However I still wasn't sure if you could gain the other abilities or not. And what I mean by that is in addition to ranged awareness could you gain one of the others. In this first fight I do have a bunch of my counter attack weapons so we're not going to get a ton of turns. But still, since Captain America is going to go next, we're definitely going to see how everything works. By the way, if you want to know how I set him up with ISO 8, I pretty much used one forceful and the rest bulky. He ended up with pretty impressive attack and defense stats. But anyways, here you're seeing that he has impaired, flanked on leading strike, and then lock on. Then when we go to his multifunction, you can see that we can switch to offensive operations or counterintelligence. Once we make the switch you'll see offensive operations pop up on the entire team. Upon further inspection it replaced ranged awareness. So you only could have one active at a time. 
Next, I decided to go ahead and switch one more time to counterintelligence. Right after you make this switch, you'll see your entire team gain that as well. So now that's going to be the active buff, and that's when I went ahead and checked out his abilities. They change depending on which take charge action you use. I really think this is a cool way to change things up, and it definitely makes them useful in tons of different situations. This certainly will work in PvE, but it definitely shines in PvP. Deep Power, Neutralize, Flanked, he has a ton of options. Also, just think if you're using the Tactician, you can place Flanked on the opponent, and then if it's a Blaster, you can attack them again, and you'll follow up your own attack. That could be pretty vicious in PvP. But anyways, what I'm going to do in this battle is switch back to Ranged Awareness. That's because the Pyro is most likely going to use a ranged attack, and also we can place Flanked on him. So let's go ahead and use a Leading Strike. By the way, this is an unarmed melee attack, so you could boost it with Juggernaut. Okay, and I guess the flank didn't even matter because we finished him off in one hit. Next with my agent, I'm going to use a Blade of the Guardian attack, because that way he'll live through it. He'll probably live through this, and there's a small chance that he won't attack us, and therefore won't get countered to death. But he did hit us, so he's going to die. So right after this, we're going to do a PvP battle, and I'm going to team them up with Iron Fist. So we'll see how well that goes. They're both pretty awesome characters, especially with this costume. As well as the Heroic Age Iron Fist. Oh, and we get to go against the Warriors 3 team, and they have pretty impressive health. Since my agent's first act, we'll use the Neurotrope. And there's going to be a lot of text coming up, so this is going to take a little while. And like I said before, I can't wait until they speed this up. Next, since I'm using the Empowered Blaster costume, I'm going to use Primed and Ready, even though I'm probably going to attack Ballstag. I definitely don't want to hit Fandral because he is a tactician as well as an infiltrator. By the way, just a disclaimer, Iron Fist is going to destroy Fandral. I mean, it's not even fair. But anyways, here comes the hand on Ballstag. Fandral went for a witty retort and Iron Fist made him pay. Now the attack, and we're also going to get a collateral damage proc. It's just the first turn and it's starting to look like a massacre. Oh, and another thing I want to point out, when the Warriors 3 drink, and even if you have the tankard on your agent, he won't drink. Right now, for all three to drink, he has to be the one to initiate it. So I'm hoping they fix or change that. I just got the tankard myself, so I definitely want this fixed soon. I guess it's not as big of a problem on offense, but it definitely hurts on defense. But still, it's nice to have the option for anyone to initiate the drinking. Anyways, on Iron Fist's turn, we could do a normal attack, and it may finish Fandral. But just to be sure, we're going to use the Heart of Shao Lao, and then we're going to use his level 1. Iron Fist's 5 Fingers of Death ability has Fatal Blow, so this attack can be really devastating. But right after I activated it, Combo Breaker kicks in. Combo Breaker! After that, basically any hit would have done enough damage. But I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. One warrior down, two to go. Next, with Steve Rogers, I have quite a few things to choose from. But just looking at the enemy agent and seeing the signpost equipped, I figured that Exhausted would come in pretty handy. Unfortunately, it's Exhaustion that Steve Rogers has. So yeah, I guess I was up too late and I got kind of confused for a moment. This isn't nearly as good, so it kind of bummed me out, and the enemy agent definitely uses a quick action and then a normal attack. So please don't make the same mistake that I did. Yeah, here you see a Neurotrope, and he's just going to continue on his turn like nothing happened. Oh well, the Steve Rogers costume is still pretty impressive despite not having exhausted. But check this out, it's a triple miss with the hotshot. That's pretty sick. If this guy only saw that on offense, I know I'd be mad. And on top of that, he's getting hit with counterattacks. Next, with my agent, I'm going to try to finish him off with the Hand of the Apocalypse. Then we'll only have Volstag left to deal with. The agent does have combat awareness, but it won't matter if we place off balance or if we finish him. So the hand happens to be the perfect weapon for this situation. I tell you what though, having a counterattack is pretty dangerous with Iron Fist. 
You almost have to be scared to use the Neurotrope. Just watch what happens when we attack Volstag. First he hits Captain America with a splitting headache, and now it's going to be Iron Fist's turn. I'm going to use our level 1, and it will do a decent amount of damage and place combo setup. Then Volstag is going to try to counterattack, and Combo Breaker quickly stops that and takes him below 1000 HP. It looks like Steve Rogers is going to get to finish this battle after all. And we'll do that with a leading strike. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the first look at the new costume. I would like to thank you all for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck and take care.